Hi, so I decided to try and do a review and try to do a fancy review with the Kornman tripod. Um, it's a fluid head. It's got a capacity of 13 pounds if I remember right. Order it from Amazon. And I went for this uh, tripod because I tried to do more video than photography, um, mostly in, in the horse world. So when I did a horse clinic, um, my old tripod, the head on the, the, the base of it was just gone. The video was shaking, so it didn't look like I had a tripod. So I was a little upset uh, that the tripod uh, broke, so I decided to order this little gem here. Yeah, 150, it's not exactly the most professional tripod you're gonna get in the world, but um, if you're like me who is learning and just getting into it, I think this is actually a more ideal if you learn to do video. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk about this tripod and uh, things I like about it. And anyway, so basically if you like it, let me know, I uh, hope you do. Feedback is great, peace. So we're going to be starting off with the item in the bag. The bag has got good quality material. Uh, this will be handy for me to go from site to site and store in the way uh, nicely and compact. Um, definitely a um, better way to go and look after your tripod. Now one of the things I like about this is how you can compact the tripod and travel around with it. So you fold the, bag, the, the legs up to the head and just pack it in the bag and go and you also have a detachable handle which also makes it easier to take on and off or make any adjustments so with this tripod it has a aluminum material the extension has four sections to extend three clips but if you fold the legs down you get fourth section your maximum height is 70 inches or 180 centimeters, which is ideal for duffer terrains or you using a second camera. Maximum load is 13.2 pounds or 6 kilograms, which is ideal to for even my camera to, to stock on, which is about 8 pounds. So plenty of space for me to have more equipment. Now as you can see there, I was playing around with a foot and you can make an adjustment. It is a rubber and so if you put it on a slippy surface it will have some kind of grip now with this as you can see that i am now extending the legs down that's the first section So as you can see here, there is a clip on the arms. So if you pull the clips out, you can move the legs right up. Again, it's a good adjustments for different terrains or different uh, situations or different objects. But you can also push it in and lock it in. Uh, and then you can just make any locks adjustments really. Which is pretty handy. Now as you can see that I am now trying to get it level, which is also the indicator where I'm pointing. So it is kind of handy to get the base all leveled out and you can use the legs to help, you know, making any adjustments really. And as you can see there that at the center of the base you can bring the tube down the center pole and you can lower it down so as you can see I'm going to demonstrate that you can unlock and move the center rod up and down as you can please um, you can also ch turn the knob on the ball base which you use that part of the section to level off as you see there I've just pointed out so I'm just making that level and then you lock it in place very simple 
Now, here is the handle, very easy to adjust. You can put it on both sides of the fluid head, which I put it on the right, and usually use the right hand side. It's got tiger teeth on it so you can hold the grip pretty well. So bear in mind, as you are placing the handle on, you can have it on a different angle. You can even change the, 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 the handle itself and have it point upwards or downwards. You can rotate the handle, which is kind of handy to whatever your preference is. So all you have to do is just tighten it up, loosen it, and you're done. Simple mechanic. So now we're going to be focusing more on the fluid head itself. As I can see, making a failed attempt to uh, discreetly turn the head. But it will give you a good point of view what the item looks like. So as you can move the tripod left and right, it is really smooth which is something that you need when you're doing video. Now, on this head, it also has a level point as well. So you got two points on the tripod to keep everything level. Now, as I pointed out on the left hand side of the base there, it can lock the ball point so you can not turn it left or right. Now as you can uh, pull the head back, you will find that it will spring back, but doesn't spring back all the way when you point upwards. But if you move the head all the way down, it moves the whole head back to its neutral position. Now you can lock that and so it doesn't pan. Very easy. Screw on, screw off. The mechanics is very simple. Now as I'm demonstrating, on the top of the, the fluid head you have a quick release plate which you can put onto the camera or to a uh, camera rig. So with that knob you just loosen the plate and it will move back and forth but there is a safety catch. You press the button and then you release the plate. I think this will be handy if you have a camera set up and you can just take it off the head and move around as soon as you need to. Otherwise you could just place it back on there, tighten up the knob and then it's all secure. Now here I'm just showing you the top section of the release plate. As I can see, very easy. So as you can see, at the end now, the last part, you can take one of the legs and use it as a monopod. So basically you just unscrew, and once you unscrew it, you will find that you could just grab hold of the ball base and then attach it to the monopod. 